Hello, my name is George Hewn. In this video, we're going to learn about using OPSI to optimize portfolios to an efficient frontier. A portfolio that is optimized to an efficient frontier is one that is optimized to give the greatest return per unit of capital or resources invested in it. This is also known as getting the greatest bang for the buck. For example, take these two portfolios. Portfolio A has an overall value of 750 and costs 250, whereas Portfolio B has an overall value of 600 and a cost of 150. Now, Portfolio A does have a higher return, but if you look at the ratio of overall value to cost, you see that Portfolio B delivers 4 units of value per unit of cost versus Portfolio A, which delivers 3 units of value per unit of cost. So, Portfolio B delivers the bigger bang for the buck than Portfolio A. Now, let's take a look at an efficient frontier for a 12-project portfolio. This chart shows how an efficient frontier is calculated. First, the overall value in the second column is divided by the cost in the third column to give you the value-cost ratio. These are the numbers that are plotted on the efficient frontier and the x-axis is the cost element, in this case cumulative cost, and the y element is the cumulative value, which is in the very last column. So now let's see what that looks like on a chart. An efficient frontier for a portfolio is prepared by ranking the projects from highest to lowest based on the ratio of overall value to cost or whatever resource that you want to put into the x-axis. So, the first project at the bottom on the left has the highest value to cost ratio. The second project has the next highest ratio. The third project has the third highest ratio, and so forth, until the end where the last project has the lowest value to cost ratio. So, the cumulative sum of the value to cost ratios make up this efficient frontier. Now, one of the interesting things about plotting an efficient frontier is that it shows you the maximum return that you can get for a given investment. This means that for any given cost of X, you cannot achieve an overall value above the efficient frontier. And if you select a portfolio of projects for a cost of X, and the overall value of that portfolio is below the efficient frontier, then you know that there is another portfolio that will deliver more value for the same cost, or deliver the same value for a lower cost. In practice, most businesses and managers do not strictly invest along the efficient frontier because they have marginal capital that they want to spend for marginal return, even if it's not strictly along the efficient frontier. Furthermore, it is important to remember that an efficient frontier represents a single dimension in a portfolio. Therefore, when optimizing a portfolio along an efficient frontier, say, overall value versus cost, you are not likely to end up with a portfolio exactly along the efficient frontier because there are other constraints that may be preventing it from being on that particular efficient frontier. For example, all the portfolios represented along this efficient frontier may require more resources than your other constraints allow or may exceed your risk tolerance. What OPSI does when it is optimizing along an efficient frontier is that it searches for high value portfolios with the highest ratio of overall value to whatever is selected as the optimization attribute, such as cost or resources. So, let's see how this works. I'm going to assume that you have experience doing optimizations using OPSI or that you've seen the previous videos on optimization so you understand the basics of how OPSI works. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on the Optimizer button on the Portfolio form to open the Optimizer list form. I'm going to click on New to open a new optimization form and you can see that the form is already loaded with the optimization parameters that were used in the last optimization. Now I'm going to name this optimization Cost Efficient Frontier. and then I'm going to select the optimization attribute as cost. Notice that when I do this, the Efficient Frontier checkbox is automatically checked by default. Next, I'm going to select None for the dependency sets and then click Optimize to start the optimization. As before, the Progress Indicator displays the progress of the optimization. However, 
When you're doing an efficient frontier optimization, the maximums are not based on the overall value, but on a score for the portfolio value relative to the efficient frontier. Therefore, the final result will be an optimized portfolio that is also on the efficient frontier relative to the other constraints that we set. Like before, when the optimization is done, the results are displayed in the optimizer results form and we can compare it with other optimizations. First of all, the optimizer found an optimal portfolio with a value to cost ratio of 1.03. And we can also see how it met our constraint criteria. Our cost constraint was not greater than 75 million and this portfolio would cost 65.5 million. Our resources required were not greater than 90 and this will use all 90 of our resources. We wanted a mean probability of success for the projects in the portfolio to be greater than 60% and this one is 61.39% and we wanted our time to launch on average to be not greater than 12 months and this one's 11.89. So you can see that it met all of the constraint criteria. Now OPSI has another unique and valuable way to compare portfolios using an efficient frontier chart. So we'll close these forms and go to the portfolio form and click on the portfolio views button. The portfolio views lets you save subsets of projects within a portfolio manually or when you do an optimization. So as you can see each optimization that we did has an associated portfolio view that was automatically saved. Clicking on the view displays the associated sets of projects in the portfolio form. There is also other data contained in each view that we'll talk about in a different video, but what's important for you to know now is that each portfolio view is associated with a subset of projects in the portfolio. So now, we're going to go to the top of our portfolio form and click on the Efficient Frontier button to open the Efficient Frontier form. And we're going to go to the bottom and select Cost for our X-axis attribute. Now notice how the Efficient Frontier lines are drawn automatically for us. The green line represents the highest possible efficient frontier based on the upper limit of the uncertainty values for each project. The blue line represents the most likely efficient frontier and the red line represents the lowest possible efficient frontier based on the lower limits of the uncertainty values for each project. We can toggle off the high and low lines using the display high and low frontiers checkbox. Now we're going to return to the portfolio's views form and click on the initial conditions row. Notice that the representation of this portfolio is immediately displayed in the efficient frontier form so that you can see how it compares to this efficient frontier and you'll also be able to see how it compares to other optimized portfolios. So now we'll click on the cost efficient frontier view and we can see that this portfolio is lower in overall value than the initial conditions portfolio. However, if we hold the cursor over it, we can see that its efficient frontier ratio is 1.04, whereas the initial conditions efficient frontier ratio is somewhat less at 0.97. You can also use this form to look at how portfolios compare with each other in other attribute dimensions. For example, we can see the efficient frontier for overall value versus resources. And when we do this, we can see that the initial conditions portfolio has a more efficient use of resources than the cost efficient frontier portfolio. Next, we can set the x axis back to cost and change the y axis to net present value and see that the cost efficient frontier portfolio has a slightly higher net present value to cost ratio. Finally, we can set the y axis to probability of success and see that the cost efficient portfolio has a higher cumulative probability of success to cost ratio than the initial conditions portfolio. So, as you can see, OPSI makes it really easy to optimize your portfolios to efficient frontiers and then compare your portfolios in multiple dimensions so you can select the ones that best for your company. You can learn more about how to use the efficient frontier chart and portfolio views to compare and contrast different portfolios in another video. In the meantime, you can try OPSI for yourself today by going to our website and signing up for your free trial. I'm George Hewn, and thanks for watching.